Do you want to know how to get a bunch of different effects on Paint.net? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install extra plugins for Paint.net coming up next on Your Six Studios. The first thing to get extra plugins for Paint.net is we have to open up a web browser. So let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome and then go to google.com. And I'm going to type in Paint.net plugins and let's go ahead and go to the first link here install plugins for paint.net the top one and it'll bring us to this page now if you're having additional problems installing plugins for paint.net this page right here will tell you exactly how to do it if you feel like you want to read how to do it instead of listen to me then at the very top we're going to get another link here for paint.net forums let's go ahead and select this link right here at the top and it's going to bring us over to the forums location where all the plugins are located and if you go through the forums there will be additional plugins for you to download and install but I want to show you the plugin packs right here download sets of plugins here and these will have multiple different plugins all for you guys to go ahead and install on paint.net instead of installing one plugin at a time you can download multiple plugins at the same time and it'll save you some time so let's go to the plugin packs here and i recommend just going through all these different pin options right here downloading the plugin installing them to your effects folder these are definitely good ones to have so let's go ahead and go to the top one here these will give you different options for black and alpha color balance perspective effect then if you want different text effects so this one is good to have just for the text effects alone and then there's a download option usually listed in the forum somewhere so this one is right at the top it's very convenient so let's go ahead and select the download link and it's going to download in the bottom left let's click the up arrow and go to open and here it is right here Let's double tap that we're going to want to copy all these files right here at the end of the file name everything that's dot dll will be a plugin effect for paint.net once everything is highlighted go ahead and hit the copy button copy all that now paint.net should be in your c drive so go to your c drive on the left hand side then go to program files go to paint.net and then go to effects now I'm gonna have a bunch of effects in here but if it's your first time doing it it's gonna be empty right click on it and then go to paste and it's gonna ask for permission to post stuff in here go ahead and give it permission so once everything is copied and pasted into your effects folder under paint.net go ahead and close paint.net and reopen it and now if you go up to the top right to effects you'll see there's going to be more effects listed in here and I highly recommend going to all the different pin options right here on the forums and going through here and downloading all the the ones that are pinned those are definitely some of the best plugins that you can get initially and that's going to give you some very powerful tools on paint.net to do whatever kind of edits you want and that's the true power paint.net there and why it's one of the best free alternatives to Photoshop so have some fun go through the forum section download some effects that you think are interesting there's hundreds of them out there and if this video helped you out installing effects on paint.net make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and check out some of the other videos coming up next on your six studios